Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be carrying on with our free to play to Masters series. If you've missed it already, we're a couple of games away from Legendary 1 already in the season. And also, if you're completely unaware, which you should have been aware by now, we've got Gus coming out tomorrow. So, I'll probably do a video on my main, uh, well, on my main account on this channel with Gus in Power Leagues tomorrow. So, look forward to that one. And I'll also just do a video on him when it comes out straight away on my main channel anyways. But... This is the main video that we're going to be doing today, so make sure you're using a credit code in the shop. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated, and without further ado, let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so heading into the first game, then. so straight away, Dueling Beetles. One mistake I almost always make is when Squeak is still available in the game, even if, uh, like, it's actually a really strong first pick, but I don't trust my teammates to actually pick up that Squeak, if you get what I mean. It's just too good on this map, so we'll just ban it out straight away, so... Yeah, this is probably going to be a painful start. We've got someone insta-locking a power 11 spike. And straight away, I just feel like this player isn't going to be the best. But it might prove me wrong. Maybe he's just got everyone really low level. I didn't even get the chance to see what other brothers he had uh, available to use. So we've got a Carl power 11. We have a bow power 11. So two okay picks. But I still wouldn't say that these guys are completely the best. Because picking Carl that early, you know, isn't normally the best of things. So... A teammate is telling me to go a max, but I mean, I've got Clet to counter the call, should be pretty decent. I don't know if there's any other options I can go. I mean, I guess I could go a Janet, but I think Colette is definitely a pick we need to be uh, a certain straight away, especially against the call. And then maybe let's see if what I'll take. Okay, our teammate's got a lot of power 11s. Wow, there's so much choice here. Let's see, maybe a stew would be pretty decent, specifically against the call and the bow. Uh, let's see what they pick up though. Janet would also be pretty decent. Yeah, Stu overall a really strong pick on this map. But specifically when you use the other gadget. Uh, I wish you could actually tell the teammates to switch their power and uh, gadgets as well. But then again, it is personal preference in terms of those. So let's see what the last uh, player picks on their side of things. There's probably a lot of choices to go as a final pick. I wouldn't really know necessarily who to go to counter. Okay, they've gone a max. So... If I was them, I probably would have gone maybe like a Ruffs or something to counter literally all three of them. But Max is definitely a strong pick. May not be on Dueling Beetles. So I'm going to pick the other star power. Because I haven't got Gotcha. That, it might be a little bit of a bad thing. Because normally Colette's only usable with the Gotcha gadget. But if I use Push It, I'm going to get uh, insane value against the Carl every single time. And not really the best considering my power 9. But we'll give it a go. So I think, I oh know, Stu didn't actually switch the gadget. So that is a bit of a pain. You always want the speed zone and you want a gas heal as well that's a nice connection from the uh spike right there we're going to pop our gadget on the car make him a pretty weak straight away and now we're going to get some time so we've got some decent taps on the call already here max is going to push up we're going to use our star power uh, our super onto the max doesn't actually kill the max but it does get him pretty weak bow mines are pretty much down straight away also Stu is a great counter to bow because he can dash through all the mines and just overall it's pretty easy to um hit shots onto him again we're just going to follow the call always with a collect follow the call no matter what you want that matchup every single time so nice from a spike right here my teammates are actually a popping off it's what you love to see i don't know if it's because the other team are just pretty trash but they just seem to be melting these guys pretty quickly we're going to push up against the call right here we're going to take him okay that was a really weird interaction right there i thought that would have killed the call but somehow it like pushed him across the lake and then shoved him across the map i don't even know what happened there but I didn't get the kill. I'm going to use a super here, though. Yeah, that's going to be the kill there. I'm going to use another super onto the max. And we're just charging about like crazy here. And somehow, oh, okay, that would have been pretty funny if we managed to actually return back and get the final kill on max. But this is plain simple right now. I don't think there's any way these guys are going to mount a comeback. I'll do it again, popping off. That should be max dead. Just one shot away from our super. Spike is getting some more time. I'm going to tap the bow right there. Should be able to get the call down as well. And yeah, that's pretty much game, uh, game Stu should be able to finish off the last percentage right here. So yeah, that's going to be the first game right there. So pretty plain and simple. Somehow we've got four people spectating us. But always, uh, for me, I, I suggest normally you either... Uh, when when they are like picking it, they picked a call, right? They should have definitely picked something that counters call. Because that, it just let me get clear. And it's just such a free matchup for me. And it's, a, it's definitely a mistake that lots of people make in terms of power league. Just look at that. Completely destroying Carl with four shots. And now I've got my super. Carl literally can't do anything against me. So it's always going to be a bit of a slow start when uh, they've got a bow. 
uh, because he can easily zone us out. We're going to use our super against the car right here. I was going to say that's not going to actually kill him, but on our return, should be able to get the kill onto him. Again, with a max. Max has to use dash early there, and I don't know what happened right there. I think because of the power difference that I can't actually kill someone with two hits and a super. You'll, you'll have to let me know if I'm uh, right about that, because... I swear, I literally hit him twice and then hit him twice from a super. I didn't even get the kill, but we're going to pop. Okay, no. That's maybe why you don't auto-aim all of the time, guys. Okay, we're actually getting a lot more percentage than uh, last game. Uh, Cole's going to use his gadget over there, which isn't going to be doing too much right here. I'm going to try and get that gadget down. Sue's so trying to heal up, but Carl is just poking him again. We should be able to use our super against the bow right here don't think yeah okay actually it's gonna kill him we're gonna be able to kill the max as well and carl is just a free matchup no matter the power level difference even if he was like a power one collect you should actually be able to deal with a carl pretty simply okay our teammates getting taken down pretty fast there need to try and heal up okay fully healed up here we can actually use our super to get rid of the mines okay nope Ah, what on earth did I just do that? I thought for some reason that I could actually dash past them and then dash all the way back and detonate the mines without any worries. But as you just seen there, that was absolutely terrible. And that's probably going to be us losing the game. That is definitely a facepalm moment. Yeah, until LC in the house, what on earth did I just... I don't even know what I did. I'm just expecting a lot of roast comments about that play. But we should be able to turn things around regardless i don't know how these guys got like so much percentage i think that max was just being a lot more aggressive uh bow i see people pick bow all the times let me know whether you think bow is still pretty strong brawler within this meta i think personally that uh within power league is definitely a little bit overrated like a lot of people can beat him in a 1v1 interaction but i think alt zone is the game mode where i'll play bow on if i was to play him on anything because those mines are just really good at zoning out even if they don't get a kill we at least get a little bit of uh pressure uh so it looks like carl it's pretty weak in our spawn here that's a nice takedown from the soon that's a much better t uh much better takedown this time around we've got a lot more percentage a lot more control so max is going to be a little bit annoying for me to face off against especially with that power 11 and the power gear uh and the um power gear what did i say the power gear the damage gear activated i'm gonna get pinched down in this corner here if only i had my other gadget to keep me alive i mean i'm not gonna waste my super here i'm just gonna continue to be annoying like as long as i'm staying alive for as long as possible it's still gonna allow my teammates to push up so spike goes down again here so yeah that's a big rip also the stew goes down not really the best here we're gonna use our super against the call as soon as possible here that's gonna be the takedown on a call i'm just gonna use our gadget just to get rid of bow as soon as possible so it's looking pretty decent here we need to release someone to be in an aggressive position to stop this max from constantly just coming in whenever he wants to it's like Carl should get taken down max is literally one shot as well yeah this is looking bad this is looking bad we just seem to get taken down as soon as these guys uh actually like respawn which normally on a map like Jordan beetles you should be able to at least survive for a little bit so we're going to use our super okay to completely miss the max yeah that's of course what i wanted uh, we're going to use our okay we're gonna miss our gadget and yeah this is looking pretty bad yeah i don't see a way we're gonna lose this one the spike has been just constantly dying 24 7 and we really need to get onto this zone if we want to mount any bit of a comeback now nah, it's gonna be a loss i thought that was gonna be an easy win in the first game just goes to show that yeah after of course <laughs> still try with the other round so yeah it's gonna be quite an embarrassing loss let's hop into the next one all right guys so hopping into the second game and the final game here so they have got last pick on a double swoosh uh, who are the type of brawlers that i'd look to ban here probably a griff that could be a decent last uh pick ban or a sam i'm not too sure whether people have even got him unlocked yet but sam is an incredibly strong brawler specifically towards the end of power league draft because he is a tank right tanks can still get countered even if they're like really op they can still get countered right by gale colette b etc etc so just be still careful even though sam is literally breaking the game right now in the early stages just think of him like a call for example you can definitely find easy counters too we picked a goal first pick which isn't normally the best they picked two amazing counters against the goal which is a bit sus uh looks like our guys debating whether to go a crow or a squeak or a scale i don't even know who to pick really uh i mean max is always the obvious pick but i don't want to pick a max it's just so boring every single time against the gene maybe a jesse would be good penny could be a good option as well is penny banned yeah penny is banned okay um 
Yeah, I'm thinking Jess in the mid. Jesse's actually pretty decent on his map. Even though I've got no gears available, I think Jesse is actually really on the radio on double swoosh. I've seen him even played a few times in scrims. I don't know about recently, but a couple of weeks ago, I watched a few teams actually use Jesse on double swoosh, albeit you're using the speed gear in the grass. But I think I might be able to get a little bit of value specifically against the gene. So they've got a really strong combination right here. And every single time, I don't know, it just really hurts my mind. Even though I'm in Mythic 3, people still pick these brawlers towards the beginning of draft that just get countered too easily. It's a bit confusing for me, but we'll just go with it. We'll just go with it. Hopefully, he's a good call and it can continue to pop off. The thing about Carl as well is that even when he's against his big counters, he can still sometimes uh, pop off and at least have a lot of pressure. So, Gene going to get pretty weak here. We should be able to get him at least weak. Okay, no, he's somehow... Just in our faces. This isn't starting off the way I really wanted it to. We've got Crow constantly pinching us down. We're just going to leave the Crow down the left-hand side. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Just leave the Crow down the left-hand side. So then I just get completely ruined. Yeah, that's exactly how you want to play it. And to be honest, it's looking like an L. It's just looking like an L. You just don't know how to respond when they go a Gene and a Surge against the Carl. It literally is his big, well, two of his biggest counters. Uh, but hopefully he gets just one opportunity to gadget onto the uh, gene and we might be able to mount a little bit of a comeback. So I'm going to pop our super behind this wall right here. Carl gets pulled as well and it's just going from bad to worse. This Carl has just had an absolute nightmare of a game and just proving why you should not pick Carl that early on. So we're going to just double stack this lane right here. Let's see if we can make anything happen. Maybe we can get with Surge right here. Jesse turning into a shotgunner. I feel like this gene is definitely going to pull me in a second. Somehow we got out alive and yet yeah, gene pulls me. My teammates are just standing there as well whilst I'm being pulled. Like this squeak is full HP and he's not helping me out. That like, is just ah, a big rip. Unfortunately, I didn't have any speed gears to really get out of that situation. Maybe I could have got out a little bit quicker. But yeah, this Carl is also shooting me even though he's been literally dying at 24-7. This is... Ah, the beginning of the tilt, guys. Beginning of the tilt. Normally, around this level, I'm actually pretty decent. I'm winning most of them in games. But when you get clown teammates like this, it is pretty harder. Try not to rage as well. It's like the impossible challenge. It actually is in solo power league. Try not to rage when your teammate thumbs down to you and uh, shoots you. That's one thing that I wish was just, I don't know, removed from the game. I just don't understand why some people just spam the thumbs down emote like 24-7 because... I don't know, I think that meme was a little bit old. It's a little bit outdated. Like, that meme was more 2011, uh, 2011, 2021, 2020 meme. But, yeah, people still go ahead with it. So, that crow shot. Oh, that was so unlucky. Literally, one of his daggers somehow made it through and got me. And then he slowed me. That is just next level uh, unlucky. The skull is shooting into nothing. I've somehow do get a double connect there. I mean... Everyone's just leaving his search to just do what he wants down this right-hand side. He's just having an absolute field day on us. And you can just see how annoying it is. We're going to use our gadget here to get the slow onto the gene. Unfortunately, we can't finish off the kill. And again, we're just leaving our lanes. This is just the most dumb gem grab game of all time. Again, I know I'm going Jesse, who isn't the strongest, but... We're literally leaving our lanes every single time. You can't expect to do anything in gem grab if you can't win your lanes. Literally, the lanes are the most important thing in gem grab. It gives your mid enough time to buy, uh, well, get gems in the middle. But I, I've just had no cover. They've just absolutely deleted us every single time. They're just running through us. I don't think there's any way we can mount any uh, bit of a comeback right here. Unless I just tap like crazy. Yeah, that's got to be GG. There's nothing more to say about this one. You guys can just... Uh, just watch my rages watch me get absolutely deleted again i could have probably gone like a max or something but it is so boring just going to power 10 brawler every single time so that is going to be it for today's video guys one suggestion do not go call that early on it's just plain dumb and also stop going power 11 spike power 11 spike is only decent in some matches specifically against the likes of maybe like a griff or like a stew or something but then they just countered it with like a call and also a bow. They just both delete spikes. So yeah, it's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.